Hello there. In today's episode, we will discuss the internal part or organs of fish. The fish internal parts are composed of organs and organ systems, between the skin slash scales and the organs inside the skeleton of the fish. This include the systems involved in feeding and nutrition, or the digestive system, breathing, or the respiratory system, muscles, or the muscular system, heart and blood vessels, or the cardiovascular system, body supports, or the skeletal system, lymphatic system, and the nervous and sensory system. In this chapter, we will only be discussing the digestive, respiratory, muscular and skeletal systems. The sensory system in fish will be discussed in the succeeding chapters. This figure shows the different internal organs of the fish. This include brain, heart, gills, swim bladder, stomach, intestines, gonads and anus, among others. The first internal organ system that we need to discuss, is the digestive system. Enable to survive, fish must obtain nutrients enable to sustain its daily activities. This nutrients can be extracted from the food or water they ingest. This nutrients are source of energy enable to sustain their body functions and activities. Adequate amount of essential amino and fatty acids, vitamins and minerals are required to sustain life and promote growth. This figure shows the hierarchical order of energy utilization in fish. Once the nutrients from food are absorbed by the fish, it will be used first for body processes and maintenance. After the energy requirement for body processes and maintenance are met, some energy will be used for fish growth. If there are enough energy left, this will be used for gonadal development and reproduction. Fish have different adaptations in feeding to be used in food acquisition and processing. Fish evolved the morphology of their digestive systems, such as the presence of jaw and dentition, which allow them to grasp their food whole, or bit by bit. Enzymes are also produced to act quickly in digesting food particles. The anterior parts of the fish digestive include the mouth, buccal cavity, and pharynx. On the other hand, the posterior parts include the foregut, which have esophagus and stomach, midget, the intestines, and the hindgut, the rectum and anus. Once the food are ingested by the fish, it will pass through in different digestive tract. First, it will be ingested by the mouth, passing through the esophagus and pharynx. A chunk of time will be allotted in stomach, wherein the liver and pancreas releases enzymes to speed up digestion. After that, the partially digested food will pass through the intestines, for example small and large, where the final digestion and nutrient absorption takes place. The undigested food or the feces will be released from the body to outside environment through the rectum and anus. Pyloric cecum also play a vital role in fish digestion. It is responsible for capturing food, feeding and for the source of nourishment. They are usually situated anteriorly on the head. It is bordered by lips, maxilla and may be cartilaginous plate or membranous or fleshy, depending on what group of fish they belong, but are scaleless in most of the species. Mouth size is important in determining prey size or food item they ingest. Fish with small mouths feeds on small food item, such as invertebrates, algae, larvae of other organisms. On the other hand, large mouths feeds on fish with large diet. There are five types of mouth in fish. These are the terminal subterminal, inferior, superior, and protractile. Terminal mouths have upper and lower portion, jaw, of the mouth is of equal length. It is used for horizontal grasping of food. Subterminal mouths have the lower jaw which is indented slightly. Inferior mouths, have upper portion or jaw which is longer than the lower portion of the mouth. It is used for feeding in the sea bottom. Sharks have this type of mouth. Superior mouths have lower portion of the mouth which is longer than the upper portion. It is used in forging in the surface areas. Half beaks have this mouth type. The last mouth type is the protractile mouth. It is structural arrangement of the jaws that enables the mouth to extend or withdraw the mouth at will. When fully protruded, the mouth cavity is enlarged to form a funnel-like space to facilitate food uptake. Slipmouth have this mouth type. Barbel is a whisker-like organ near the mouth of the fish, usually found among catfishes and cyprinids. It contains taste buds used for chemoreception, used for searching food in murky and muddy water. It can be found in either side of the mouth, and can also be present in the nostrils, but often mandibular or located in the chin. 
This figure show the different locations of barbel in different fish groups. Teeth are important structure in the mouth of fish. It aids in the grinding of the food. In carnivorous species, type and characteristics determines feeding behavior of fish and type of food they feed. There are five types of teeth in fish. This include the villiform, caniniform, malariform, incisors, and fused teeth. Villiform teeth are numerous, small, needle-like teeth that occur in elongate, surface-dwelling predators. Fish with this type of teeth are the gars, needlefish, and benthic predators such as lizardfishes and lionfishes. Canineiform mouth are recurved, conical teeth characterized with sharp points. This is the teeth of piscivore and carnivore. It serves to grasp and hold prey. It reaches its extreme form in the almost triangular fang-like, slightly flattened teeth. to 28.7 times of its standard length. The liver, together with pancreas, also participate in digestion in fish. The liver is developed as a ventral evagination of the intestine, like other vertebrates. 
the anterior portion of the liver developed into the liver proper, while the posterior portion developed into the gallbladder and bile duct. The liver also stores fat in some fishes. The cods and sharks are harvested mainly for their liver oil. This oil is rich in vitamins, especially the squalene. Bile